anyone who has followed Amazon's India strategy will not be surprised by the latest investment offer of its CEO, Jeff Bezos. Six years ago, the same Jeff Bezos promised to invest $2 billion in India. Now it's $1 billion, that is 7,100 crore, 7,100 crore Indian rupees. But as we've seen, not many are impressed. India's small traders view Amazon as a monopoly and for the right reasons. They're worried about their livelihood, which brings us to a, to a question. Can India strike a balance between big ticket investments and small businesses? And how should it go about this? That's what we'll discuss on We On Edit tonight. I'll start with two numbers, two sets of figures. One is the $1 billion offer. The second is the 70 million brick and mortar retailers of India. It's a thin line. While digitization of Indian businesses is a welcome step, the question is, what is Amazon's profit in this? And what does India gain? Already India's small retailers blame Amazon and Walmart for offering deep discounts. They call them unfair. For consumers, deep discounts are good news. But they sound like a death knell for small businesses who struggle to compete with giant discounts. Unless the government brings in pricing regulations on online retail business, this problem will continue with or without Amazon. Amazon and Walmart have already been accused of violating India's foreign investment rules. There are also doubts over how these companies use consumer data. They have your address, they have your bank details, your shopping and browsing preferences. They know a lot about you. How do they use this data? The government must make it clear to Amazon that predatory pricing practices will not be allowed in this country. Having said that, it's a good thing, I must say, that Amazon is interested in India. It shows that there is global optimism on India's consumption and economy. More investments would only accelerate economic revival. India is home to the world's fastest growing e-commerce market and the second biggest smartphone user base anywhere in the world. E-commerce is a revenue generator and a jobs provider. India's export market could also improve considerably with investments from platforms like Amazon. The need, as I said, is the balance. Small businesses are crucial for the long-term health of the Indian economy. Small businesses will promote local innovation. The government needs to approach this situation in a guarded manner. Set pricing norms, incentivize small businesses, while also enhancing the synergies through investments from Amazon and the like. That is the blueprint. To be fair, the government has done its bit. Last year, it introduced rules to deter large online discounts, but a lot more needs to be done. While Jeff Bezos makes his sweet offers, it is important for the government to understand one simple fact. The mood among small retailers should not be allowed to turn sour and bitter.